I'm always fond of saying I had a boss who gave me an opportunity to look for a new opportunity. <laughs> and it was very unexpected, and so I found myself out of work. And, you know, when I should be in kind of my prime earning years. After I got done feeling sorry for myself, <laughs> I spent a lot of time thinking about, you know, what could I do that would really enable me to, to sort of have that dream that people think about, you know, if you do something you really love, you never have to work again. And um, it was a slow, uh, it came to me quite slowly. I'd be in the woods picking mushrooms, and I didn't immediately think of make that connection, but I don't know, there's something very ornate about mushrooms to me. The detail is really exquisite, you know, when you, really spend time in the forest and, and you realize, first of all, how many mushrooms there are. You know, most people, you know, live, live their life and die and, you know, yeah, they know what a mushroom is, but they rarely really see any mushrooms. Well, we found a lot of chanterelles today, which is, um, you know, sort of widely considered one of the most, one of the best mushrooms in the world that's eaten the world over. Um, it's a beautiful mushroom. It's egg yolk yellow, which I love. Um, the smell is, is really unique in that most people can't imagine that a mushroom actually smells like fruit. But yeah, a chanterelle smells like apricot. And when you get a basket full of them, I mean, it's enough that you actually smell it as you're walking through the woods. And it's, a, it's just a really pleasant, fascinating, delicious mushroom. It's a walk down memory lane whenever I'm in the woods. You know, the sounds that, uh, that you hear, which are few, but you know, just subtle sounds, the wind that we hear in the trees right now, things like that. For me, I can, it takes me back to certain points in time. And um, it's always, you know, it's good memories or memories of being out with my dad picking. There is no better way to sort of sort things out in your head and, and think about matters that are important to you and, and not have the distractions of everyday life. Too many people, they want, you know, a boat in the garage and three cars and a you know, a beautiful home here in the cities and probably one up at the lake, all of which demands that you give more and more of your time to somebody that you really don't know that much. All these people you work with, the company that you answer to, I mean, you add up that time in your life and you realize you spend more time there than you spend with your family and friends. Far more. And For what? But um, I don't know. There's a, there's a bigger meaning um, to life, I think, for, for a lot of people, myself included. And sadly, I don't think most people ever find out what that is. And I'm looking, and, and I'm, I think I found it, and I'm, I'm real happy I have.